Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. This time of year we're so busy and we want to make the most of every single minute of the day. So I'm going to show you some really easy ways to set your table, make a cute little uh, centerpiece. This can work for Thanksgiving, it can work for Christmas, or any other holiday you happen to be celebrating or getting ready for, and it's very easy. We're going to use some great supplies from our sponsor today, Paper Mart. You can check them out online at www.papermart.com. Lots of really inexpensive, useful products that you can use over and over again for different holidays, and also we're going to incorporate a lot of the stuff you already have. So let's go to my little pretend mock table, and I'll show you how to make it happen. The first thing you want to do is set your table. What I have here is just a basic satin um, embroidered brocade type tablecloth, but it's machine washable and it's very useful for many different events. So now I'm going to add this uh, burlap mesh. This will make a really lovely table runner and the color of it is also lovely for Easter or um, Christmas because we have a nice, uh, it's a nice green color. I'm sure you can think of other um, like St. Patrick's Day, other things you could use this for as well. Or you can even do like a deco mesh wreath, which I'll be showing you that uh, probably coming up next month. So you can start off with something simple like that. The next thing I like to add is a sturdy basket. I like baskets because not only can I use them as part of my display, hello, <laughs> I can also um, use it to carry and store all my seasonal decorations in. So if I decided I loved all these things together, I could put them right in this basket and on the shelf until next time. But this time I'm going to use a basket upside down because um, I think that it's a little more sturdy than using it right side up and building layers because you want to have some layers to create some visual interest. Now on top of this, I'm going to want to do some candles and I want a little sparkle, so I'm going to put on just a metallic doily. They're so inexpensive, you could put these under your plates around the table, they add a little bit of glitz, um, they're so cheap, they're disposable, and, but they just add a really um, luxurious quality to your dinner. Um, something else I want to show you, and I do have some of this up in the background, this is a... Um, it's a paper streamer banner. It's uh, just this really interesting texture. I just wrapped it around a mason jar. Again, using what you have, lots of mason jars around. You can even hit the recycling bin. I didn't have any plain votive holders. It would work. So I just wrapped that paper around the mason jar, and you can't really tell because I have all these lights on, but it glows through the crinkles, and it's very pretty. I took a couple smaller mason jars, and I wrapped them with um, some deco mesh, some random deco mesh there. It's a, I'll show you the roll it came from. It is right here. And you get this really neat textury ribbon. It'd be pretty on lots of different crafts, but it adds a nice texture. So we have a lot of different textures going on here. We have this smooth a satiny organza ribbon, which is on top and it's very sheer and pretty. Then we have this random mesh. Then we have this crinkly paper and we have the weave of the basket. We've got the weave of the burlap. We've got the smoothness of the tablecloth. All of this adds up to making a fairly interesting um, centerpiece with very little work. Now just for a, a quick little touch on the end, take a little doily, lay it down, and then put a place card over it. And I'm actually going to show you how to make these place cards because they're so easy. So let's go to the craft table and I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, let's make our really fun place card. So we're starting off with a shipping tag. This is three inches by six inches roundabout, and it's from Paper Mart. You get a box of 500 for about $13, which is way better than the deal you get at the craft store, which is like 12 tags for four bucks. And you'll want to have these on hand because there's so many things you can use them for. I'm gonna find just a little piece of pattern paper that goes well with our tablescape. This is by Teresa Collins. And I'm just gonna punch this um, large flourish square that's by um, EK Success out and I'm going to fold this right in half just like so and we're going to use this to kind of embellish our hole up here at the top we're going to cover that up and then we can repunch it later but it just gives us a um, it just gives us a little extra flair so it doesn't look so much like a plain old shipping tag when we're done with it um, the next thing I want to do is stamp a little image and I have this uh, little apple pie from um, About Art Accents, and I just think it's kind of, um, it's kind of Thanksgiving-y because, you know, most people have pie on Thanksgiving. And I'm also going to stamp this little sentiment that says, get your pie on. That's also by About Art Accents. It's kind of a fun little playful touch. 
and um, I'm gonna leave this uncolored because on my table and I'll show you this in a minute um, I've put a glass flower frog down and I've put some colored pencils in there and I think that invites people to get involved with the table it invites them in so if people are feeling like they don't be the first person to touch an hors d'oeuvre or come over to the table they can kind of get in there color a little bit feel playful and it's a great icebreaker and also great to make kids feel part of the meal too I think um, the next thing I want to show you how to do is to do a little basic calligraphy and all calligraphy is is writing real pretty basically I have terrible penmanship but if I look at it like drawing my letters I do much better so I think um, I'll just start off with this red and um, I just I'm just gonna print as neatly as I can so I'll do a J a I'll do my son's name Let's see okay and these are kind of cool because um, they can be used for bookmarks later and then um, I also like to add some just some like flourish lines so what I'll do is I'll just kind of copy what I just did just keep it simple as long as you keep it simple you're not gonna go wrong maybe just add a little bit of a green flash here and there just to kind of dress it up a little bit all right so see that's pretty simple now I am gonna punch a hole here with my standard size hole punch and put in some ribbon and I got some lovely gold grogain ribbon from paper mart um, I love their ribbon selection they have gorgeous ribbons and um, they're very affordable and I love that you get a nice quantity so you don't feel like you have to be stingy when you're using it and this little addition of ribbon dresses it up it adds a little bit of luxury to your table and it also makes it into a really cute bookmark should they want to save it uh, to use again later so there we go and my little simple trick for v-notching the edges maybe everybody knows this but I didn't and when I saw it I thought it was just the most fantastic uh, fantastic way to notch the edges I've just folded both of these in half and I'm just gonna cut it on an angle and there I've got two perfectly symmetrical v-notched um, ribbons there so now let's take another look at the table and I'm gonna show you what I mean about laying out the colored pencils and um, just a few finishing touches to make your dinner even more special let's have a look and there's our lovely Thanksgiving table again. I turned the lights down so you could see the glistening of our candles through the glass and the lovely random mesh ribbon. I added some sparkly marbles, flat bag marbles around. Those are a buck a bag at Paper Mart and one bag of marbles is enough to glisten and glam up a table. Also, the nice thing about having it all on top of that basket, if you decide you want more room on the table for the turkey and the other food, you can just lift it up and set it aside. I also use my flower frog and I stuck some colored pencils in there so that our guests can make their very own name tags. It's just a fun little touch that makes everyone feel welcome, especially the kids. Again, I want to thank Paper Mart for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out their website and stock up on some of the essentials that you use all year round for your party and decor needs. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.